Welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Tamika. If it is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. So as the video title suggests, today we're going to talk about medicines that you should have at home if you have a newborn. The reason why I'm doing this video is because of my own mistake and I don't want you to make the mistake that I made. So I'm using my mistake to enlighten you. Okay. So what was my mistake? My mistake was not having a medicine like a, a first aid kit for your baby with all the necessary medicine that you will ever need for him or her. Don't wait until you need it before you get them. Get them, have a little supply and you keep it because the weirdest thing is whenever babies get sick or anybody at all, most time people are getting sick, it happens in the middle of the night. I don't know why but it always happened in the middle of the night and it's not like you're gonna get a chance to run out and grab what you need and then you're gonna have a fussy baby throughout the night you're not happy baby's not happy you can't help him so get yourself a little medicine kit I'm gonna go through these and tell you all the things that hold on disclaimer I am NOT a medical professional I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, this is my opinion, okay? So, consult your doctor if needs be, but I'm just showing you what I have, what I bought after my mistake. And my mistake was not getting pain medicine or all these medicine before I need it. Elijah was feeling pain the other evening and I did not have anything to give to him. So I learned the hard way and that is what inspired me to do this video for you guys. So I'm going to go through these medicines that I have in my medicine kit for Elijah and you can draw inspiration from what I have here. I'm not saying that you should get what I have, but you can do your own research because every baby is different. What's good for me is not good for you. So you do your research. As I say, I'm not a doctor, not a nurse, not a medical professional. Ooh, my opinion. Okay. So let's get into these medicines real fast. So the first thing that I would suggest, and some of the, the things that I'm not, I'm going to mention, I do not have here because I ordered them, but they're not here yet, but I'm still going to mention it anyway. So the first thing that I'm going to mention is a vitamin D drop. The vitamin D drop that I'm switching to, because I have the one that the doctor recommend, with, and then when I do my research, I realize that I don't like it, so I stop using it, and I don't have it, I throw it out. But for that one, it smells awful, it tastes awful. It's a mess. So this one that I'm buying is the vitamin D drops. It's literally called D drop and the baby only need one drop. And that's a good thing. That's what I like about it. The one that I, that I got rid of, you have to give the baby like two syringes. This is a syringe that comes from it. You have to give him two of this. And as I say, it smells bad, tastes bad because I tasted it and it, it's a lasting taste very distinctive nasty taste for a long time the second thing that you need is a snot sucker snot sucker for americans booger sucker for jamaicans yeah booger so that is it goes it works with this so this is a saline right this is a saline drop so what you do is spray this in the in the baby's nostril it will loosen up the snot and after which you use the snot sucker. I have one here, but I do not like this one. This is the bubble one where you squeeze. I do not like this one. It, for some reason, I don't like how it work. So I ordered the Frida Baby one where you put in your mouth and you literally suck on it. I'll insert a picture. I haven't gotten it yet, so I ordered that one. So after you spray your saline, you use the snot sucker to get get the, the boogoo the booger <laughs> out of the baby's nose so that they can breathe freely. The next thing that I recommend is the Vicks Vapor Rub for babies. You know, just in case they have a cold, chest tightening, you can use it to rub their chest. That, I think, should be in your baby medicine collection. Then, you need, you need a thermometer. This one you can put under the arm or under the tongue. Standard thermometer. 
have to make sure that you know their temperature. Then, here I have gripe water. And then you have this Mali Malicon, infant Malicon for gas relief. You know, most babies, for some reason, most babies have gas. So that is going to help them to free themselves of gas. I have this little container that I got in this this pack. So the thermometer, the thermometer and this snot sucker comes in this pack. In this pack I have hairbrush, comb, a nail file, nail clipper, grooming set comes in this pack. And this also comes in it. So what this is is a medicine dispenser. So you put the medicine in it and you can give it to the baby just like a regular bottle. If you do not like this one, there's also the option of pacifier. They have the pacifier one where you can put the syringe, you can put the syringe in the back of the pacifier and put the medicine in there while the baby sucks it. So, but my baby doesn't take, my baby doesn't take pacifier. So this work for him, which I haven't used it yet. Thank God. Then next you have baby Tylenol. This is for pain and fever. I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with this. This you, I think you should have in your collection. And this is the baby ibuprofen. This is the baby ibuprofen also for pain. So two pain medicine just in case. So those are the things that I think that should be on top of your list that you should have in your little medicine kit for your baby. As I said before, I am not a medical professional, so this is just my opinion. If your baby is sick, especially if the baby is a young, like a newborn, consult your doctor, please, okay? This is just general information. So do not say I said. But some other things that you would want to have, as I said, the ones that I showed you just now and are mentioned are like must have in my opinion but the other thing that you'd probably want to have is like antibacterial wipes and they have the boogie wipes i think i have a couple packs over there um i'll insert a picture and you have pedialyte so if your if your child is dehydrated the pedialyte is good for that so you can give them the pedialyte so again guys thank you so much for watching those are my recommendation as i said do not make the mistake that i made do not wait until you need these things to get them get them have your little your little medicine cabinet your little medicine corner this is just a dollar tree basket that i picked up i didn't even know what i was going to do with it when i picked it up but now i find the use for it i just store all these little medicine here and what you can do to save yourself a couple syringes because you never know which one you're going to need at any time. So this is just a little basket. Just make yourself, it doesn't matter what you use, make yourself a little medicine kit for your baby. Do not wait until you're in need, please. That was my mistake. So thank you guys for, for watching. And if this video was helpful, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.